Hello, photographers. My name is Spiros Heniatis, and this is where I answer your photography questions, and we learn about photography together. And it's Thursday, and we've got our second question of the week this week from Calvin Siu, who says, I know the fact that the focal length of full-frame lenses will be multiplied by a factor of 1.6 when using a crop sensor camera, and this is called the crop factor. And he says, what about the aperture? So this is something that confuses the hell out of people, and there's a lot of information out there so let me share with you exactly how this works and what it means. The crop factor has to do with the size of the image sensor because the full frame sensor has become the standard against which everything is measured. And when you put a 24 millimeter lens on a full frame sensor, you get a 24 millimeter field of view in the image and the image that's projected by the lens covers the entire image sensor and you get your picture. But if you take a smaller sensor and you put the lens on that camera with the smaller sensor, the image circle, the image that is projected by the lens is larger than the image sensor. So what that means is you get less of a picture and that's why we call it a crop factor. What that means is it would be the same as if you had that lens on a full frame camera zoom to 48 millimeters. The confusing thing is when we start to talk about aperture because people say out there that you also have to multiply the aperture by the crop factor to understand what the true aperture will be. And that is not true. So here's the deal with aperture and the crop factor. The aperture is the opening in your lens. It is a physical opening and it is a fixed size. That does not change when you put the lens on a camera that has a crop sensor. That's physics. It doesn't change and that means that the aperture doesn't change. So if you put an f2.8 lens on a crop sensored camera, it gathers as much light through that aperture as it would when you put it on a full frame camera. So you lose no light gathering abilities at all. You get exactly as much light out of that lens regardless of what camera you put it on and regardless of the sensor size in that camera. Now the other thing that people say is different because of the sensor is the bokeh or the depth of field of the image. And that is something that effectively results in a difference but truly doesn't result in a difference because of the sensor size. So here's what's happening here. Three things impact the depth of field in your image. The first is the size of the aperture in the lens. And we already talked about the fact that that doesn't change. F2.8 is F2.8 no matter what camera that lens is put on. So we know that that physically doesn't change. It just doesn't change. The second thing that affects the depth of field in your image is the camera to subject distance. How close the subject is to the camera. This is where you have a difference in depth of field between a lens on a full frame sensor and the same lens on a crop sensored camera. And the reason that there's an apparent difference in the depth of field is because to get the exact same image with the crop sensored camera as you would with the full frame camera, the crop sensored camera has to be further away from the subject. And the further away from the subject you are, the greater the depth of field in the image and the more stuff will be in focus. So what this means is that the depth of field does not actually change because of the sensor. And you can prove that yourself. If you can get your hands on a full frame camera and then a crop sensor camera and put the exact same lens on both cameras and put those cameras right next to each other and take a picture of the exact same thing, they will have the exact same depth of field. They will be different images compositionally because the crop sensor camera will be zoomed in but it will still have the same depth of field as the full frame camera. If you move that crop sensor camera back to have the same compositional image as the full frame camera, then it will have greater depth of field because you move the camera further back. People say that you need to multiply the aperture by the crop factor to get the true depth of field. It's a shorthand way of understanding that with a crop sensor camera, to get the same image 
compositionally, you've got to move the camera back. And when you move the camera back, you get greater depth of field. So the bottom line is that the size of the sensor actually has no impact on the depth of field. It's all about the aperture and the camera to subject distance. The third thing that I mentioned earlier is the zoom of the lens. But if the zooms of the lenses are exactly the same, then the results are going to be the same. So that's not really pertinent to this discussion. Now, if you have any questions about aperture, about depth of field, crop factor, or anything else, leave them down in the comments. Otherwise, do me a favor. Would you like this video and subscribe to my channel? If you really like this video, maybe share it with your friends. But the most important thing you need to do is get out there, take some damn photos. I'll see you guys tomorrow. And the reason that there is an... <laughs> <laughs>